Hey, this is uh, Randy Moss again, and wanted to uh, have this video on the uh, bell siphon that I talked about earlier. Um, here's what one, the basic construction of one. You see one right here in this uh, in this grow bed, and um, basically what this top, what this outside covering is. On, uh, on this bell siphon is basically just a screen to keep gravel and large objects from coming in and actually clogging it up where it won't work. Uh, and this right here is just a cap for protection that you put on it uh, to keep rocks and debris out of it and stuff like that. But this right here is basically um, what it consists of. You've got a uh, pipe with a cap and you've got a tube that um, I prefer per putting mine in the top. You can put it in the side, but I usually put mine in the top. It works better to me. Uh, and you want to make sure that it's completely airtight. If it has any air leaks in the line or in the top, it will not work properly. That is very, very important. And this tube, when you run it on the inside, of uh, this piece of pipe. The tube is running down inside of it about three inches. And that tube needs to go inside this piece of pipe which is in your grow bed in a fitting, a PVC fitting. It sits in there just like that. And then this goes right on top of it just like so. Alright, this this tube in right, this piece of pipe right here has a has a piece of this tube in three inches on the inside. That has to go be right in the center and be straight, so it'll go straight down inside this pipe. What this is going to do, wherever you end this right here at, at the bottom of this uh, piece of tubing, is actually where it's going to uh, the water line in your bed is going to uh, stop. When the water line, when it starts siphoning and it gets down to right here, this tube is going to make it suck air and in return going to make it uh, break the siphon with the water and make it suck air and then it'll start refilling your bed. So if you drop it down further, it's going to uh, drain more or you pull it up higher and it'll, it'll leave more water in the bed. But this piece of tubing right here is going to dictate how much water you leave in your beds and where the siphon is going to uh, break at. These holes right here are just to let water into the pipe so um, water can flow in here. Basically, this piece of pipe right here is sitting into, the, into a PVC fitting in the bottom of your bed. All right, water starts filling up and it run, it acts just like an overflow. Without this, piece right here it acts just like an overflow but whenever it goes and when you set this on there what happens the, the water runs up this pipe runs into this one and then at some point it'll it'll get the air out of this pipe the top of this pipe and instead of sucking air it starts sucking water and when it does it'll create a, a vacuum and it'll suck every bit of the water even though water flow is coming into this bed it uh, will suck every bit of the water out of this bed because the idea is is to have a bigger pipe in the bottom of your bed and more water can travel out than what's coming in. Now the ideal of this is this is like a three-quarter inch piece of pipe with just a, just a three-quarter inch fitting on top just makes it have a little more of a rounded edge and what you want to do is you want to go up one size uh, in pipe. If this is a three-quarter, you'll want to go with an inch pipe. So three-quarter inch. And then this right here needs to, the outside uh, screen needs to be about a three or four inch pipe. I put a three inch on mine, but it's really better to have a four inch. This is what I had on hand, but a four inch works better. It gives you a little more room to work with in there. That's all it's worth anything. It's just a screen. So you can put it on there as big as you like. It gives you more room to operate to be fine. But the idea is, and water flow is a very, very much a key factor in it. If you have too much water flowing into this bed, it will never break the siphon, even though it'll drain out. See, if you have too much water coming into it, 
it's going to keep a water level a little higher than your tube. So you, if you if you can't say it drains out in the and it just will not start back. 99 percent of the of the time, it is your water flow that's causing that. If you have an airtight seal on this, you need to check this. Make sure you, you've got silicone or whatever, and there's plenty of it that'll actually make sure if this is 100% watertight. If it has any leak whatsoever, air leak, it will not work properly. And then the next thing you need to check if it's not uh, filling back up is your water flow. If your water flow is coming and it's running up above where you got the hose cut off at, the bottom of the hose, then it'll never refill. You need to cut your water flow back just a little bit. So, and you can hear it. You'll hear it start gurgling, and then you'll know that it's trying to do it. And then you can still adjust your water flow and make it uh, do right. And always stay and watch it fill up. You want it to uh, drain and fill in about 15 minutes or so. If it's taking it a lot longer, if your water flow is too too great, then what will happen, it may take it 30 minutes to refill and then all your plants are going to die in your bed. Because it needs to drain and fill in about 15 minutes, especially in the hot summertime or everything you have in your bed will scorch and it will die. But that's it in a nutshell pretty much. Um, Three quarter inch pipe with a three quarter inch um, um, uh, fitting in the bottom of your tank, and it's called a bulkhead fitting. I had a lot of trouble trying to find one of those. They're very difficult to find. A bulkhead head fitting. Uh, you can get online and find them. Just type in bulkhead fitting, and that's the fitting that you need to go through your bottom of your bed, no matter what it is, to give you something to attach this to. And uh, but get this, get your bulkhead fitting for a three-quarter inch pipe, put your three-quarter inch pipe in it, put your three-quarter inch straight uh, connect on top, get you an inch pipe with an inch cap, drill you a small hole in the top, put you um, a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch piece of tubing, it runs down three inches down inside, cut you a couple of notches, adjust this bottom of this thing right here to where it, it'll to match your thing, water flow very critical make sure you check it and adjust it to where it'll break siphon and and work properly and um, it's pretty much a no-brainer it will work don't give up on it there sometimes they can be a little aggravating to get them adjusted but uh, feel free to email me anytime um, my email address is um, on the video um, Feel free to uh, email me and I'll respond uh, very quickly to your email and uh, help you any way I can and wish you uh, luck on your project.